Hello, hello, Eisenhower artist. This week you'll be using shapes to draw a fox. And this fox is playing in an autumn forest. Autumn is the time of year right before winter when the weather gets cold and the leaves on the trees start to change color to orange and red and yellow and they fall off the trees. We're going to use shapes put together in different ways to draw the fox. And we're going to use the colors of autumn for the forest around the fox. So what shapes do you know? Do you know a triangle? Can you see a triangle in this drawing? What about the ears on the fox? There's a triangle. Another shape we'll be using for our drawing is a rectangle. We'll also be using a circle and a square. All these shapes put together will make this drawing look just right. And you can find these pages on the Canvas lessons. Go back to the pages in Canvas and look for the link in the printable files for your copy of these pages. You can print them out and add color to these shapes. Okay, so the supplies we're going to use today will be blank paper. We're going to use a pencil with a good eraser, a black marker to make the outlines, and then for color, you can use crayons or maybe colored pencils. Let's start by folding the page so we have some guidelines for the size of our shapes. So fold it this way like a book. Just make a gentle fold. Don't smash it flat. Open it up. Turn it and make it tall and narrow. Fold it this way again. Now you have four corners of your page and the middle. All right, so we're going to start with a dot on the top half of your page. So put your finger in the middle and go up almost all the way, but stop right about there. Okay, and we're gonna start from this dot. We're gonna draw a line across like this, about that far, and then go down. We're gonna make a rectangle about that big. Now don't make it too small. We want the fox head to be large like this. So I'm going to go down about this far and then come back to the middle line where that fold is. Go back up to the middle dot and go across about that far. Go down and connect to the middle. Now if your lines don't touch, that's okay. You can erase it and fix it so it completes the rectangle shape. Next we're going to draw the body of the fox is a square. Okay, so go under the head rectangle shape on one side. You're going to go down a little bit like that. Go to the other side, go down a little bit, and then connect the bottom to make the square. Okay, next we're going to do the fox legs and the paws. So let's draw a line for the fox to be sitting in the forest. From the bottom here of this square, you're going to go across all the way off the page. And then on this side, go across all the way off the page. Okay, so on the bottom square, go up a little bit and make a diagonal line sideways like this. Okay, and then go across another line sideways like that. And now we've made a triangle right there. Okay, make sure the line is slanted. And then you're going to put three lines for the fox's paw. A fox usually has white fur on its belly, so we're going to draw a curve like this, and that's going to be the white fur on the belly. Let's make the fox tail. So above this slanted line here, which is the leg and the paw, we're going to start there and we're going to make a slanted line. They have very big tails going all the way across like that. And then go back to this spot, and this time you're going to go up this way. So it's pointed here, but then it gets wider. And then connect this. 
Now if your lines don't connect exactly, erase the extra part. All right, and then a fox usually has white on its tail. So we're gonna make a curvy line right here. That will be the white part of the tail. Okay, so let's go back to the first rectangle we made. We're gonna do the fox face. So right in the middle of the rectangle, put a dot. Then from this dot, go out to the corner on that side, go out to the corner on this side. That's gonna be the fox's top of the head and that's where they have white fur. Okay, let's do the fox nose right there in the middle. Put a small circle for the nose and then put two circles on the side for the eyes. We're gonna fill that in later with the marker. So don't fill it in right now. And then let's put the whiskers on this side the fox whiskers, three on this side. I could fit three, maybe you could fit four. At the top of the fox's head, we're going to put the ears. So go to the corner and they have big tall ears. Go up, slanted though, not straight. Let me show you the difference. Straight goes like this. We don't want straight. It needs to be slanted line, slant like this to make the triangle and then down that side. Triangle ears, and there's a little triangle in the middle. Okay, go to this corner. Now remember, when you're drawing with me, you should pause the video, do the step, and then play again and catch, do the next step. So we're over here at this corner now, we're gonna make a big slanted line, make it tall, and then slant again to make that triangle. Okay, and then put two smaller slants in the middle for the middle of the ear. All right, so let's make some of the forest parts around this fox. We're gonna make a tree with two lines straight this time, not slanted, side by side. You decide how tall you want it to be. And then straight across this way and a big rainbow curve. And then this tree is gonna have some apples on it. So I'm gonna put some circles, okay? On this side of the fox, we can put a tree that has these shapes. So I'm gonna make this one tall. A straight line with a circle at the top, then a slanted line with a circle, a line down here with two circles. You decide where you wanna put some of these lines for the branches and circles. Going in different directions around that tree. Now remember, I was telling you about the season of fall or autumn and the leaves are changing colors and blowing around and falling off the trees. So let's make some big leaves that are blowing around in this forest and we're gonna make them autumn colors, red, orange, and yellow. So let's put some here on the ground that fell off the trees. So I want you to make a curve like a letter C, C for cat, and then make a curve the other way like that to close the shape, put a line in the middle, for the veins, that's called the veins of the leaf. And then a stem is a line like that. You can make it a double line and connect it like that. Let's put a big leaf in the sky that's blowing around. So I'm gonna make a curve like a rainbow and then curve again underneath it like a smile. Put a line in the middle, some lines on the side and a stem. You can make your stem two lines. Let's put some more big leaves on the ground. Okay, this is the first part of our artwork using the pencil. Next, you're gonna trace and erase. Trace and erase. That means you're gonna use a marker. Do you have a black one? Maybe you have a brown marker? That would look good also. 
but you want to cover up all your pencil lines. We're getting ready to add the color. The pencil lines are just the first step, and we can erase those so we can change things. But once we add the marker lines, you can't erase a marker. And then that's the step we do to get it ready for the color. So this time I want you to fill in the little nose, make the eyes bigger than the nose, fill that in. Okay, you have the whiskers. Okay, so I'm going to hit double speed. You can watch me do trace and erase. It's important to get rid of those extra pencil lines. Here we go. Okay, Eisenhower artists, I'm finishing up the erase step, getting rid of any extra pencil lines. Let's think about the color steps. So I want you to try using the edge of your crayon. So I want you to peel away some of the parts, peel away some of this paper from your crayon. Just peel it off. You don't have to peel the whole thing. If you want to, you can. So part of it's peeled. Now we're going to lay that flat on the paper and we're going to rub it around the page. We're going to add some blue to the sky first. This is called the background of the art. So you're just going to hold the crayon flat, not pointed. Hold it flat, pinch the edge and rub it around the tree, around the leaf, around the fox. This is the sky part. Just put some blue here and there. You don't have to put a lot. Right in over this tree, just a little bit around the tree. And that gives a really nice effect for the color in the sky. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the color on the ground for the fall forest. Get a brown crayon, because you know the colors are changing a lot in the fall. All the leaves fall to the ground and things aren't very green anymore. So I'm going to put brown and orange down on the ground in our forest. So I have part of it peeled off. I'm just going to hold it flat like this and pinch it and rub it across the paper for a little bit of color. Okay, and I'm going to put another color right on top. That's called layering the color. I have brown, now I'm going to add some orange right on top. Okay, so I'm going to peel some of this orange crayon, peel some of the paper off, hold it flat, and rub it across the paper. Okay, so I have, hope you have fun with this style of coloring. It's called rubbing. Crayon rubbing to add color to your art. Don't forget to go right off the side of the paper. Okay, let's look at the colors of a fox. I'm going to show you a picture of a fox. They're just so cute with big ears and big dark eyes. A fox usually has some white fur on the head, the belly, and the tail. So we're going to leave those shapes white. So find your orange crayon, or maybe you're using colored pencils, and leave the middle part white. Go on the other parts of the fox's face. Add your orange, or maybe you're using red. Orange and red are good color for fox fur. So be careful adding your color. Stay in those shapes for the fox's head. Turning your paper helps you get into all the shapes, all the edges of the shapes. Okay, we're leaving that one white. That triangle right there stays white. So this part of the ear, let's make this orange. This color I have is called scarlet. So it's like a mix between orange and red. All right, and then leave the middle white. 
And then the fox's body right here, this part, this big curvy shape, that's going to stay white. White fur there on the fox's belly. Okay, let's do the fox legs. Go right on top of those lines for the paws. And then the tail. Now let's leave the tip of the tail white for some white fur on the tail. Okay, how does the fox color look? Did you leave these white spots on the head, the belly, and the tail? Okay, let's look at the fall forest. This tree here, you can add some brown on the trunk. And then all the stems of my leaves, I'm going to make those brown. So make sure you're using the fall colors of red, orange, yellow, and brown. The leaves aren't green right now because they already changed color. Okay, let's start doing the leaves with this one can be yellow. I'm going to put some yellow right here in this tree, a couple of these circles. I'm going to make these spots right here on this tree yellow. You can make yours orange if you want. Just think about where you want the orange, red, and yellow. This leaf down here, I'm, this time I'm pressing down hard and I'm getting a dark orange for this part. Okay, I decided to put orange over here on this tree. And I'm going to use red next. This tree I want to be red. So I'll go around those circles. Turn the paper as you go, that helps. All right, and I think I'm going to go back to orange for this leaf right here. So press down stronger for these leaves so they get a good thick color. All right, Eisenhower artists, how'd it go with your fall forest colors, your shape fox? I'll be really happy to see what you created. You can take a picture and email it to me, or you can submit it to me in your Canvas pages. I hope you had lots of fun with the fall forest and the fox. See you next time.